Welcome to the Somerset Business Success Strategies video blog. Today's posting is entitled Growth Tool Number 8, Become a Specialist. The driver for today's posting really came uh, from Seth Godin's blog. I was reviewing his blog this week and he had a posting titled, We Specialize in Everything. Uh, the executive summary of Seth's posting is that um, when he's looking for a resource provider, personally or professionally, with the uh, 21st century uh, global community that we live in and the, the web and all the ways that we can communicate, and, uh, he really looks for the best person anywhere, regardless of location, for the particular service that he's looking for. Now, obviously, depending on the service, uh, you may need a more localized provider, but even in a local setting, uh, local is, has a much more broad uh, meaning than it used to, and it's much easier to find specialists uh, locally or globally. Uh, so, you know, he just was kind of thinking about this fact that he prefers to work with the best, and doesn't it make sense that his customers would prefer to work with the best that they could find anywhere. And that really led him to the question for his readers that if he prefers to work with specialists, if he prefers to work with the best in the world at any particular resource that he may need personally or professionally, and if it's logical then that that would be true of his customers and potential customers, and the same would all be true for us, why haven't we uh, developed specialties for our individual businesses? That's a good question. Uh, and he really basically asked for input and feedback um, uh, on that comment. And so what I basically uh, said back to, to Seth with a comment that I posted at dig.com is that I think one of the reasons we get caught in the generalist trap is that we try to do too much ourselves. Um, if we would outsource everything related to our business, uh, to the people who do that function uniquely best, um, then, and if we would only focus on the functions in our business that are directly related to our core commercial purposes, we could then uh, allocate 100% of our management bandwidth and attention to becoming the best in the world at that core commercial uh, focus of our business, allowing us to become specialists. So that one of the ways to avoid the generalist trap is to outsource everything that you can that doesn't relate to your, your, your core unique mission and then focus on uh, developing this unique and compelling value proposition in this uh, niche area where you can become a specialist and, and the best in the world. And really what you want to avoid is this, this, this general, generalist trap where you try to be everything to everybody and potentially end up nothing to nobody. Now, so that, that's the basic setup and that's the basic response that I had. Now remember that this doesn't mean uh, that there is no place in the world for generalists. Uh, I think uh, that on management teams, uh, it helps when people have a diverse background. Uh, I think uh, th there will always be a place in the world for generalists, both individually I am a generalist and I am part of a management team or even for organizations to say we are generalists. I just think that uh, specialists, you name the field, the dental field, the medical field, the legal field, specialists have a tendency to be able to charge more, enjoy better margins and better profits. So I think there is a, there is a, uh, there is a, a value to becoming a specialist financially. Uh, I think also each one of us has the capability to become a specialist. Each one of us has unique gifts and talents uh, that we can explore and develop to where we can, in fact, become the best in the world at some particular unique thing that may be able to help you, uh, an organization uh, and that all organizations have some um, uh, part of the overall marketplace they can carve out for their own where they can be the best. Uh, so it doesn't mean that there's no place for generalists. It's just that I want you to strongly think about the possibility of specializing individually and organizationally because I think that you can and I think you uh, would add more value uh, to, to the, uh, uh, the community at large that way. You'd add, create more value for yourselves. I think you'd be more fulfilled uh, in, in your individual missions. 
Uh, and so that's just something I like to throw out there as a challenge for you to think about today. And as always, I invite your comments and feedback um, on the subject. Thank you.